Welcome back everybody, this is ZDS here bringing you part 18 and the last video for this session of my Metroid Prime 1 sequence break let's play using the Moon Jump Cheat to our utmost advantage. So to continue the topic of the last videos, it's kind of like all of this is done in like the same hour, all these last five videos are done in the same hour, so I want to continue the topic as long as I can. Um, I might repurchase Xenoblade Chronicles 2, uh, kind of give that another, like a more fair shot, because I really just fucked up and I couldn't beat Malos's first fight and then like the thing was is that like the reason I took it back was not because um, I didn't like it it was actually a really stupid reason because um, I bought it at GameStop when I still had my Switch this is like a month and a half ago or more well, actually no much longer than that um, it was actually before I lost my job I think um, but I bought it um, I bought it from the GameStop up near my house, and, uh, the guy who was at the GameStop said that if I didn't like it, you know, I could come back and return it, and he would return the credit that I spent on it by trading in other games, he would return it to my GameStop Power Rewards card. However, if I didn't come back within that day to bring the game back, he couldn't do that for me. Okay, why is it not walking uh, so he, he said he couldn't do that for me if I didn't bring it back within the day of, of like, purchasing the game. So what happened was is that I played to the, in the game up to the point where I was about to fight Malos for the first time. And I died to him five times. And then I got tired. And I went to sleep. And I thought that the game had an autosave function, which it does not. I didn't see an actual save function inside the game, so I assumed that an auto save function, and then I turned the game off without saving, and then that's why I turned it in, because I'm like, yeah, well, you know, I mean, he already said that he won't take it back if it's more than a day after when I purchased it the first time, so I'm like, fuck it, might as well just fucking take it back since I already fucked up and I have to do all that, like, five hours of gameplay over again, and I really didn't want to do that, so I'm like, eh, whatever. So I didn't give Xenoblade Chronicles 2 a fair shot. I've seen all the cutscenes. Um, I have not seen the ones for the Golden Country expansion, the Torn of the Golden Country expansion, uh, which I also might get at some point if I do get it. I have to buy a lot more shit. <laughs> uh, I've got to get another TV because I mentioned uh, a while ago in one of my older videos uh, that my sister went to jail and then her ex-boyfriend uh, kept my television at his house. And when I went to check on it, because I had a key to their apartment, uh, he was not home. I saw my TV still there, but then his neighbors threatened to call the cops on me if I didn't give them the key to their apartment. So, yeah, I was not going to jail. I'd rather, you know, them deal with that little fish fry rather than me get, well, fish fried. So I gave them the key without any questions, and they are just like, oh, fuck it, whatever. So I essentially forfeited my TV, my GameCube, my Wii, and all my games that went with it, including my original copies of Metroid Prime, Metroid Prime 2, Pokemon X Year of Darkness, my favorite game of all fucking time. Um, what else did I have? I think I also, a uh, Spyro Heroes Tale that I had from when I was like 13, 14, 15 years old or some shit like that. Uh, uh, True Crime Streets of LA, which was a game I kind of liked to screw around with because it was fun to shoot people with cheat codes. And uh, I think I, that was it. But, like, I sold the other ones that I did have, the other game and Wii games I had. You know, and it's cool, I got my emulator, so I can still play the things, but, like, it's still nicer to have the actual game consoles and the games that come with it. I kind of did the math a little bit. I'm going to do more of it, like, later today, how to figure out exactly the specifics, but I think it's, like, over $1,000 worth of merchandise to get it all back again, which I can do in, like, two months and still pay all my bills and still save money. So it's not like I can't get them back, but, you know, I'm also trying to think about like, you know, in a year I'm not going to be in the shelter anymore in my little SOR room type deal. So I'm going to be moving out in a year, September of next year or September of this year. If it's already 2019, by the time this video comes out, I have no clue. I'm, I'm saying this on October 9th so who, of 2018. So who knows when this video is going to come out. It might never come out at all. And I'm just losing my time. But yeah, so I'm gonna do that, and all that shit. And eventually, I'm eventually gonna get it all back, but like, like I was saying though, not just Xenoblade Chronicles 2, but also um, 
I also sold my Wii U. I don't know if I told you guys that. Um, and it had, uh, I had Super Smash Brothers for it, uh, as, and I had most of the DLC. I didn't have, um, I bought Roy and Mewtwo because those are my favorite DLC characters out of the DLC pack, and that's what I had back at the at the time. I did not buy, um, any of the others, uh, Bayonetta, Corrin, um, Lucas, uh, I already got the expansion here. Um, <laughs> I, Lucas, uh, who else? Um, Ryu. Did I say Bayonetta? I don't know if I did, but I just said it again. Um, and I can't remember who else. I think there's another one that I'm forgetting. Probably an important one, too. I can't fucking remember. Um, but I had all that. I got all the characters legitimately, like normally. I am going to eventually rebuy a 3DS version of Metro, of, of Super Smash Brothers, uh, because. Um, I want to do it for my 3DS capture card because I did it for my other 3DS and the DLC is saved on that 3DS so I can't fucking like I can't um I can't use that 3DS because it's a 2DS XL I can't use that 3DS and transfer all the data to my 2DS regular because my 3DS XL 2DS XL also has Super Metroid on it that was my phone. I don't know why. I just got a fucking text message in the middle of my recording session. Oh, and it's some fucking stupid shit anyway. But yeah, I can't, you know, do all that shit right now. Uh, hold on. Let me grab this power bomb. Power bomb. You got another power bomb? Maybe? Somebody gonna come down and give me another power bomb? Please. If you'd be so kind. Thank you. Power bomb, please. Thank you. I don't know why those guys give out power bombs. Oh, I have three power bombs. I only really had two. Oh, God, I grabbed a third one. There's also where you get one of the artifacts too. Um, you can also avoid the uh, Chozo ghosts that attack you in this room after you've gotten up the tower here by um, dash jumping kind of thing up back. I'll show you guys in a second. But you can avoid the three Chozo ghosts that attack you after you get the X-ray visor and get the Chozo artifact. You can completely avoid them if you want. Um, it is possible to do without the moon jump cheat, but I'm just going to show you with the moon jump cheat since I still have it activated. Um, but I have done it without the moon jump cheat many, 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 many times, and it's completely possible. Uh, so give it a shot yourselves. Um, guys don't think you can, you know, I mean, you guys just aren't doing good enough. I'm sorry. Can't help your incompetence. But yeah, basically you jump onto this pillar right here. And from this pillar, if I can get on it, hold on, you need a bag. Come on, get on the pillar, please. This is why it's hard, because like the pillar is slippery and the platform on top is very small. It is possible though. Oh, ah, I almost had it. There we go. And from here, you can, you know, do the L jump shit to get it to that platform, but I just said fucking use a moon jump because I'm, I'm a fucking rebel like that. But yeah, like all those games, you know, I want to eventually get, I want to rebuy all that stuff, N64, Super Nintendo, all that jazz. I want to kind of try Mario games again. I haven't played Mario in a long time. Not since I sampled Super Mario 64 when I was in late high school, I want to say. Um, so it has been a while. Um, I should give them another chance. Legend of Zelda as well. Um, I want to give Legend of Zelda another shot. I've only played uh, partly through Ocarina of Time up to the Fire Temple. And I've never played any of the other games, except Breath of the Wild. Uh, which I did enjoy Breath of the Wild, but it was like such a time-consuming game that it's not something that I can sink my time into because I just don't have enough fucking time to live my life the way I want to live it. You know, who knows, if YouTube takes off, if my YouTube takes I say that all the time. It's never gonna happen, but who knows. If my YouTube ever takes off, then I can actually fit time of that into my schedule and I can quit my job and I can do all this kind of shit and make money and enjoy playing video games for a living, which would be fucking phenomenal. But it ain't gonna happen, and we all know that, so whatever. But yeah, you know, I wanna get all those games back and all that stuff. It's kinda... Also expand my horizons with things like Xenoblade Chronicles 2, and maybe even Splatoon, although that's a big maybe, because I'm not a big fan of shooters, especially not third-person shooters. Uh, and the Inklings are kinda weird looking to me. Some things are, think they're cute, I'm kinda like, eh, whatever. Definitely want to do more Smash Bros. content, uh, mostly like explanations of movesets and stuff like that. 
not going as far into the competitive history of it like um, like False Life Gaming does. Also, I'm going to leave like False Life Gaming to do all the competitive Pokemon talk too because while I am a um, I won the 2013 regionals for where I live. Uh, I'm not going to tell you where that is because I don't want you guys to find me. It's a little weird. Uh, and I also, uh, I won an invitational as well uh, to a national tournament. I, I didn't win it. I came in like 16th place, something like that. It wasn't a national tournament. It was a, fuck, what was it? State tournament, something like that. It was a long time ago. I can't remember. But yeah, so I have, I have gone tournaments, so I do know a good thing about, a good thing or two about, you know, um, competitive Pokemon playing. I'm gonna kill these fuckers right here. Or you wanna hit me, huh? Boom, dead. Boom, dead. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab this missile expansion before I end this video. Boom, dead. Thank you. Thank you for your death. Your sweet, holy death. Ooh, power bomb. Mine. Mine. I could have used the charge beam, that would have actually taken longer. But yeah, I, I want to get into those kind of games and maybe even repurchase the PS4 eventually. Maybe get into some games with my brother, you know, my best friend, my brother, you know. Can't call him what I usually call him because it's the internet and people will get really offended if I call him that. Uh, it's not men in malice between me and him, but of course the internet doesn't care about that and they take everything offensively, whatever. But yeah, you know, I want to get into like things like that, you know, because my brother is always talking to me like, like, dude, get a PS4, we really should go play online, blah, 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 let's play 2K and... Uh, all this other shit, and I'm like, uh, I don't know. But yeah, you know, that kind of deal, get into that kind of shit, and yada, 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 bam, boom, bop. Can I stand on this? I cannot. That is not a standable platform. Ah, don't shoot at me. Thank you. Okay, but that's going to go ahead and do it for this video and this session. Um, not burnt out yet, but I'm, I'm kind of like, uh, it's like 6.30 at night. I've been doing this for about an hour now. So I'm like, you know, I think it's time for a break. Might do some more recording later throughout the week. I don't know yet. But I'm really enjoying, like, talking about all this stuff that I want to do. Just kind of get it off my head. But whatever. Anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like to support the channel, the links to my Twitter and my Patreon are in the description down below. Support me if you have the ability to. Especially follow me on Twitter if you guys want consistent updates on the status of my life and the channel and what's going to go on with both my channels and all that shit. And maybe even future channels that might come up. Who knows? But anyway, that's all for me, so thank you guys so much for watching. Can't remember my outro. Oh yeah, this has been ZDS making YouTube for fun one vid at a time, and I will see you guys in the next video. I am fucking mentally retarded anyway. Check you guys later.